and vision of the elders, both past, present, and emerging. And it's going to be a respect to all the people. Yeah, Tony, I'm guessing. Trent, nice to meet you. Trent, nice to meet you. Ready, Ralph? Yep. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, to the Barkald, and welcome to the Barkald and Showgrounds for tonight's clash between the Barkald and Sanguinas and the Blackall Magpies. Um, beautiful evening, Trent. We've got Trent here offsiding for me tonight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, Trent. Yeah. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a good night of football, I think. Yeah, I think it'll be a good game. There, um, these two teams, Barkald and got beat last week in the major semi against mm. Longridge, 26 to. 16 and Blackall was winners over Alpha 32 to 10. Uh, so yeah, the winner of this game will go on and play the Longridge Ulfacombe next weekend. So in the big dance. Yeah, that's what they uh, all out in the middle. All these players out in the middle hope and wish to play all year. It's the grand final. And um, so yeah, so they're all warming up at the moment. Bark Alden fellas are. Up on the northern side of the field, and uh, Magpies are down the southern side. Uh, our referee for tonight is Sean Dillon, with linesman Brett Heyman and Malcolm Wright. So, um, thanks again to our officials for taking on that job. It's a bit, it's a big job too especially you know, in, these, in these matches, to be able to put your hand up to one of the linesmen and rest in these big matches. So it's, it's very good. So yeah, great to have volunteers like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's an unforgiving job, you know. Um, and they'll, they'll do their best, no doubt, to keep the, both teams apart and play a good brand of uh, flowing football. Both sides are capable of playing beautiful, open football, let the ball flow. So, um, yeah, we're not too far away from kick-off. They've warmed up and um, within a couple of minutes, I'm quite sure we'll be um, running out, Trent. Yeah, beautiful night for football, I think. And Blackall and Barkey matched up a couple of weeks ago and it was a very close affair, I think 18-16 in the end to, to Barkey. So it's going to be a good match tonight, I think, and very fiery. So it's going to be Yeah, good. earlier in the year, um, it was only a two-point Mm. Two point gap too when Bark oh. Alden came to Blackall. I think it was only a two point gap. Uh, Blackall led up to the last five minutes and it was a runaway try, I think, that um, sealed the game for Bark yeah. Alden that night. So they'll, they'll play the full 80 minutes. Both Definitely sides will well. play. Mm. A lot on the line, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. No, so. Blackall is just heading in to get ready to. Head back out again. Looks like they're all warmed up, ready to go. Their final messages by their coaching coaching staff. Yeah, I think uh, Jeremy Barron coaching the Blackall Magpies. Uh, so do you know who's coaching the Blackall and Sandwiches? Oh, off the top of my head, it's um, Menix Hunt is doing Menace, a yeah, Menix yeah. Hunt's doing a bit of coaching. I think still from um, as well as playing. So. Yep. He did a great effort last year with all the fanfare and stories last yeah. year of yeah. Menix Hunt in his first year as a, as a captain coach as an 18-year-old. So 
Yeah, he's continued it this year and yeah, it's continuing on, that trajectory. Good on him, a young fella having a go. That's mm. all it, what it's about. Um, Definitely. Well, we've got a few spare minutes. We'll just um, thank all our Barkwood and sponsors. I haven't got a list of them here. <laughs> and um, all our Blackwell sponsors for mm. putting both teams onto the field. And that um, it takes a bit of dedication and them sponsors are willing to put up their hands every year and sponsor, sponsor our local boys, playing for their local towns. Yep. Yeah. And but that... Um, we had sponsors, this doesn't happen. No, that's mm. so true, Trent. Mm. Uh, so. Just a quick shout out to two ladies in Roma tonight listening to our live stream, <laughs> Lynn and Wendy. I hope you got it turned on. <laughs> I said I'd give you a shout out, so that's it. <laughs> if you missed it, you missed it. <laughs> I might have to do one later on in the game, just yeah. to make sure they hear it. <laughs> no, and um, Aaron's broadcast this live stream and goes right around the whole whole state. I think last weekend up in Blackall he had 120 or 130 viewers mm. uh, on screen. So it um, just goes to show that um, a lot of ex Bark Alden people and a lot of ex Black Alden people that live on the coast or live away mm. from our local towns um, enjoy watching rugby league. Mm, you know, providing that live stream is a great opportunity for everyone yeah. to, to join in. So, Referee Sean Dillon's just um, officiating the toss in front of us here, Bark Alden tosses. And uh, we'll soon find out in a minute which way they're running. Barkley looks like they're running to the far end of the showground from where we are. I'm trying to think if it's north, east, north, north yeah. very good, up <laughs> to the northern end. And um, yeah, Blackwell running to the southern end. Final words by the coaching staff of, of the Barkey Sango is out there at the moment. You can see them all huddled in, ready to roll, getting themselves locked in, ready to go. I think we also have the debut of the new um, Barkley and Sango and his mascot tonight as well. Did you I see him <laughs> running I, around? I see him, the Sanguana there, out in front of the grandstand. No doubt he'll get a bit of booing and a bit of cheering <laughs> as he um, scoots up and down the sideline there, Trent. I wonder if he'll take his first hit up or not. I just wondered what his fitness was like, Trent. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going for and the referee. He's, he's attacking the referee already. <laughs> yeah. that, that might be a sin bin already. <laughs> it's not a good start. <laughs> and that, they're trying to find out. Everyone will be want to know who he is. Yeah. Or, oh, I've, yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been the talk of the town all week, actually, who's, yeah, in, we, who's in the Sango in a costume. Many names have been thrown around. Right, OK. I saw Reese before, so it's definitely not Reese Peacock. No, no, it's definitely not Reese's build. Yeah. And that, um, <laughs> But anyway, good on him for getting out there. He's got a few kids following him around here too. Mm, you'll get some, plenty more of them as the night progresses, I yeah. think. He, he looks like he's full of energy, ready to roll. Uh, just waiting, just heard the cheers of the Blackhall team below us. They're just a bit heading out very soon, I believe. Blackhall and Sanguinas are just going to Get a photo taken, a team photo taken, a quick photo before the game. Out comes the Magpies, led out by Alex Joyce tonight. Co-captain Kelly Hoff and the Magpies. I'll just read through their names. Number one is James Moller. Two, Sterling George. Three, Will Burney. Jack Bagry, four. Five is Sam Curran. Six is John Hoff, seven Jake Richardson, eight Alex Joyce, nine Kelly Hoff, ten Logan Hoff, eleven Mitch Hoff, twelve is Ethan Willis, thirteen Chris Dorr. The reserves are fourteen Luke Smith, sixteen Gavin Weems, fifteen Alex Campbell, seventeen Anthony Molnar, nineteen Cody Trost, twenty-two McCaw, and twenty-five Deck Heyman. And for the Bark Holden Sango, it is number one, the Ezekiel Thompson. Number two, Corey Balderson. Number three, it's just down as Vil. I think enough said with that. Number four is Richard Edgerton. Number five, Kyle Marshall. Number six, Mick Hansen. Number seven, Harry Gray. Number eight, Don Misfield. Number nine, Tommy Lines. Number ten, C. 
it's all it's down as well. So enough said, I reckon. Number 11, Zach Bettines. Number 12, Jack Walton. Number 13, Wes Balderson. So they're our on-field first up. Into our reserves, we have number 14, Casey Hansen. Number 15, Morgan Stanfield. Ooh. Number 16, Mannix Hunt. 17, James Edgerton. 18, Noah Kelly. 19, Ernie Taylor. 20, Ricky Moxham. 21, Angus Stewart. 22, Dean Click. And 24, Darcy Volk. From the kickoff, the ball is bounced and um, there's been an offside ruled. Mark Alden fella picked the ball up offside. So the Black Horse team kicks it back to about the 10 metre line. Bit of pressure to start yeah, off. Yeah, not the start that Bucky would have wanted, but they'll settle into it now here with some solid defence, I think. Alex Chase Choice takes the first hit up and he's about two metres from the line. All the players are very nervous, I think. Mm. Chris Gould takes the tackle, one off the ruck. Well tackled by Big Angus there, I think. Logan Hoff scoots from dummy half. They're up, up, quick. Barky defenders are up quick on Jake Richardson, one off the ruck. They go deep to Chris Dool. Oh, it's knocked on there by John Hoff. Knock on. The Bark Alden putting plenty of pressure on the on the attackers. Good energy early. We'll have a scrum right in the centre field with a Bark Alden feed. Marking feed. Scrum just being set up. Pass out to Ville for the first run. He's down. Off the ground to C. Tackled there. Passed out, did show and go there. And Mickey Hansen, a veteran Mickey. of the side. Yeah. Trying to see the numbers, my, so it's not that great shot. Oh, big run Ricky. by Ricky Moxham. Leads from the front, that man. Yeah, penalty blown. Too slow in the play, the ball, and that. So obviously, referee Sean Dillon spoke to both captains about what he wanted tonight. Mm. Obviously, um, he'll set the standard with his whistle. Wants a fast game by the looks of things. Great kick up to about the well, 30 metre line there, I'd say. Yeah, so. Yep. First run to Richard Edgerton, I believe. Last in. Ooh. Ooh. A bit of lifting in that tackle. Another penalty there. <laughs> Both play, well, players up, so obviously everything's good. Yeah. Didn't look too dangerous, but mm. uh, there's no lifting at all in our game of rugby league, so um, referees right on to that. Bark Alden take the tap and number 10. S number 10 C has his first hit up for this end. They're going to the left hand going side. There. Oh, oh knock on by Angus Stewart, unfortunately. Coming back on the inside. Mm. He's a bit cranky with himself yeah. there, but. Not happy. He's got all game to, to um, make up for his mistakes. Just go wash those mistakes away and play on, I think. Yeah, yeah, no good getting cranky about them this early in the game, Trent. Blackhall's feed. John Hoff rucks it out. Straight up the middle goes Logan Hoff, I think. No. Followed by his brother Mitchell. <laughs> Family affair, good, good to see. Yeah, all cousins. <laughs> oh, they're, them two brothers. Who kicked oh, downfield kick. by Jake Richardson. Oh, bounces and bounces. Cutting it fine there. Yeah, we I'm had loose. a good look at that. It's it was shaping to be out in the full for a second there, but yeah. a bit touched the grass on the inside. So Barky play the ball. 
right on the 22 metre line. Corey Balderson playing the ball. Line set. Number First run to Richard Edgerton. Makes him, well, oh, doesn't want to go down. Good, makes some good metres there. Up into Ricky Moxham. Makes another great run. Bit of inspirational leader, Ricky Monts Moxham. Out to sea. Obviously, his last name might be a little bit too long to write, so they yeah, just write we'll, C. We'll just stick with C. C. <laughs> Out to Harry Gray. Goes, well, keeps going. They're making some metres up the centre there, which is good. Clearance kick. Good take mm. by mm. Sterling George and good mm. defence by the Barkwood and defenders. Had someone breathing down his neck just then. But he took there's him. a scoot down the blind side there. Mm. Inside to Kelly Hoff. James Moller comes in from fullback and has a run. Chris Doyle off to Ethan Willis. He's got a bit of pace. Ooh. Tries to run around him, but tackled there and a good oh, low tackle. Oh, Richard Edgerton, well yeah, done. Good tackle, Richard. Another kick Another by cool. Kelly Hoff. It's bouncing, coming down towards the fullback. Mennix hunting at fullback. Obviously, a bit of a positional change. Oh, oh. that was a solid hit there. Racket from dummy half, and Chris Dahl tackles the Barky oh, runner. What number is he? Number two. Corey Balderson. Going out to C for. No, yep, C for. He's yeah, fending he's away. away for two. He's got the ball Pushes out. Pushes it to Ville. Ville. Ville's caught there. Ville's down there on the halfway, I believe. Run by James Edgerton then. Out to Harry Gray with the kick. Put the ball up. Oh! Taken in the air. The black all winger, Sam Cohen, took that ball and had mm. his legs taken out. So, referee Sean Dillon's right onto it. Um, it'll probably be a talking to and a penalty to the Magpies, I'd say, which will relieve the pressure. Yeah. Bark Alden was building a bit of pressure there. Yeah, they were. Using the ball. You can't tackle a kicker in the air. Mm. Look. Yeah. Yeah. You don't think of it. No, I'm just trying to because once it's I can't see it. Yeah. Okay, Kelly Hoff takes a tap and it's passed on to Alex Choice who rucks it up the middle. Some great defence early from both teams. Yeah, some hard hitting out there mm. early in the game. Mitchy Hoff, one out football. Chris Doyle gives the ball, it's a drop ball. Drop ball, we've got... Ethan Willis dropped it. I we think it's been cleaned up by Buck Alden. Number six. Mick Hansen has the ball. Pass it to Angus for the first Stewart. run. He busts through. Fresh off two tries last week, Angus Stewart. Yeah. So, I think a man of the match performance as well. That's a good run. They've got Barky on the front. Bill has now. the ball. Bill. Bit of momentum from the Barky team at the moment. About 10 metres out from the line, Buck Alden. Coming to the right-hand side. He has the ball. Oh, and, um, oh. Play on. And we think we have play our on. first try. How much time we got? No time on there at the moment. Referee has uh, pulled up there. I think he might be confirming with his touch judges. Knock on. Call that yeah, the ball came out of the play, the ball, yeah, and did. picked up by the Barky mm. fellow, and he dived over. So, so saw a knock on there, so it'll be black or ball now. Not a bad effort by the Sango winners then. Yeah, yeah, that um, young Stewart made a good break there to get him on the front foot. Uh, referee Sean not completely happy with the scrum. <laughs> uh, all comes out. Sam Curran takes it off the scrum. Dummy half.
half runner. I think that might be Jake Baggery. Centre coming in for a run, rucking it out of their own half. He goes to Jake Richardson, inside ball. Big contact by Angus then. Chris Doyle had two runners outside him but took the tackle himself. He looked like he was going to pass him. Yeah, a bit unsure, I think. Jake Richardson again, he puts a little chip kick through. Got a winger coming through, he knocks on, I think. I was Play on. I don't know what happened there, it was a little bit messy, but... A bit messy, I think. <laughs> Barky's got the ball. <laughs> uh, Sean Dillon's played advantage, I think, and mm. Barky's got the ball. Richard Edgerton takes a scoot from Dummy. Doing a fair bit of work early, Richard is. Yeah. Well, Jack Walton takes Jack a Walton. hit up. I'm hoping these numbers are right. <laughs> to Menix Hunt. And he's nearly through oh. Menix. He's got through. Go he's got two. He's, and he's off. He's off. Uh, he's, I think he might be there. Yeah, first try of the evening to Menix Hunt. Menix Hunt, he broke two tackles and scooted away. Great footwork there by Menix to get through that line. And he's gone over near the, near the left hand upright, so first points on the board to Bark Alden. You've seen the replay on your screens out there in the live stream world now. It's just early footwork and he gets through that, that gap. Some great running by Mannix Hunt. You heard a bit of noise in the, in the crowd, very happy for Mannix to go over first. Yeah. 20. 28 minutes left in the first half, so we're not quite halfway through the first half. So both teams have settled down and playing a bit of football now. Both teams have had their fair share of the ball, and um, just a good break by Menace. A couple of missed tackles, and he was away. Yeah, he, um, he hit that. He hit that line. Ran that line very well on the inside. Then. Right, we have a substitute coming on for the Sango winners. Morgan Sten. Field, I believe, has come on and Angus is getting a well-deserved rest. Kick was successful. So we have Sango and a six, black or nil. Their Pick normal off. fullback must be out tonight. I can't see Ezekiel anywhere out there. Isn't he out there? He's no. On the sheet. Yeah, he oh, is. Oh, there's a good hit by Dale Bagri. Oh, Ball and all wrapped up tackle. And he might be a bit... Bit dusty. Dusty young... Young Corey Balderson. Balderson. Young Edgerton right. takes it in again. He Does a lot of work from, from his position. a little winger. Yeah. Good Jack tackle. Walton with a good hit up there. Coming down the blind. Harry, Harry Gray, Gray elects the, the kick. Down. James yeah. Moller takes the ball on the full. Great take. Oh, bumps off the first fella, but <laughs> met by some defence in the second Barky defenders. Little scoot here from oh, who we got number five, number the five. winger, Sam Curran. James Moller goes to dummy half. He has a scoot, beats one, beats two. Oh, and then Ricky, Ricky Mock 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 him. He ran into Ricky, <laughs> Ricky mothered him. Good run, but Kelly the dummy run. half. Jake Richardson inside to Alex Choice. They're making some inroads on that inside ball. Kelly Hoff, they go to the open. They give the ball. A bit dark over there, Trent. It is a bit dark. Yeah. The light's right there, too. <laughs> Last tackle, puts Jelly. up the kick. On the air, pressure's coming through, there's a drop ball. Drop ball and black or number five has dived over, but we're waiting for the referee. Try awarded. Short points to the spot and um, it's a try. Buck Alden went up for the ball and knocked it forward. Jordan. And um, number five, Sam Curran for the Magpies, dived over. Pretty pinpoint kick. 
Oh, the luck of the ball being yeah. in the air, eh? Yeah. We see it every weekend in NRL games. Yeah. If they can't score a try, they go to the air. Mm. 90% and it's a hard one to defend. Yeah. Mm. So, um, Very hard one to defend. They, they tried, they scrambled. A couple of them scrambled to try and smother it, but unfortunately, Blackall were just a little bit quicker. Yeah, so um, kick to come from Sterling George. Takes it out to the 22 metre line. What's he like as a kicker? Pretty accurate? Uh, not really. Blackall hasn't been flavoured with any good kickers this year. Sterling and a couple of other fellas have a go, and I think, um, yeah, he'll give it his best shot and do his best. Um, I wouldn't say he's the best kicker I've seen, but um, <laughs> we'll soon find out. Okay. Yep. Seem to be having a few issues, I think, with the live stream at the moment, we were just told. So you'll just have to listen to our wonderful voices to get some up, our, um, some updates on what's happening. The kick was successful. So that should bring us to six all with 24 minutes, to, um, 24 minutes on the clock. It's going to be a bit of a seesawing affair, and it's lived up to it already. Yeah, well. Black Wolf working out of their side at the moment. Push back there from the Barky defence. Come down the blind with Mitchell Hoff. Bun out of one tackle, but <laughs> met another one. Jake Richardson offloads to Logan Hoff. Goes back to James Moller, he puts boot to ball, it's a wobbly looking kick, the winger's coming in, he missed it, hasn't touched it, so it goes back to the fullback, Menace. Yeah, Menix tackled. looks like Menix is playing fullback. No and Ezekiel Thompson tonight. It's Kyle Marshall, I believe, with the run there. Rucking it out. Mm. Ville goes for a scoot. Scoot, beats one, but ran into the big body there. 17 rucks it up. And that's Zach, Bat Zach Batines. Pass it through. Ricky having a run. Bit of ball playing there too from Ricky. Oh, he tried to flick it out. Play yeah. on. Morgan Stanfield has the ball and he's off. Oh. Just take it into the bar. One-on-one strip. Yeah, one-on-one strip. Strip from Jake Bagry. Penalty awarded to the Blackall team for holding leg, the leg. Holding the leg. Holding the leg. So. Change over here, so the momentum might turn a bit. Um, Blackall find the line about 12 metres out. Barky's defence has got to be on song here. Tully off taps the ball. Jake Richardson, Mitchell Hoff comes off him, heads towards the post. 10 metres out. Going to the open side. Inside ball to Logan off. He's heading towards the post. Mm, pulled down there. A good tackle. Big run. Door to Richardson. Second play to Jake Bagri. Gives the ball to Sam Curran. He's met there by two or three Bark Alden fellas in Edgerton. Fence and, there. and Gray. Jake Richardson. Oh, good mm. ball there. Yeah. I don't know whether he's over. We'll wait for the referee. He's over. He's over. He's Try over. The referee points to the spot. Chris Doyle, the runner was, I think. Oh, we we'll have a look at the replay there. here. Look, oh, bit of movement there. It's good having this replay, Trent. It certainly is. Especially <laughs> when we miss a bit. <laughs> Going through. Just put, rolls his sleeves up. Has a, has, a, has a dart. They had um, two initial Barky defenders and the third fellow, but 
momentum took him over. Yeah. It's pretty Chris good effort. Doyle. Chris Doyle was a try scorer, number 13. Mm, number 13. Brings the score to 10-6 to a black hole with kick to come. 20 minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. Nearly in the same spot as the last kick, so we yeah. can... If Sterling's got his right boots on, he should be right. First kick was a good one, so... Mm. Kicking the confidence thing, but in the... Mm. I would say, yeah. I think the more you pot over, the more confident you are to keep going at it. Quite daunting when you see them fellas kicking from the sidelines. Yeah, you watch, the, watch it weekly on the NRL. They just seem to... Flags Put him in up. So Sterling George, 12 6. 12 6. He's got his kicking boots on tonight. Mm. Right, we just ticked over the, into the second, oh, into the 19th minute. So plenty of time left on the clock for all those Sango Anna supporters out there. Menix has kicking duties as well. Jack of all trades tonight. Ball goes deep. Logan Hoff comes off the runner. Met some solid defence there. One off the ruck. Blackwell's energy levels are on the up at the moment, as, as they would be after scoring two tries. Anthony Moller. Run into one barky player, went low, he's left him a bit groggy. Might have hit a hip, might have hit his hip. No, he doesn't. Chris Doyle, the try scorer, takes a run up. He looks dangerous every time he gets the ball. Like Chris he's Doyle. got a bit of speed. Mm. Ball goes out to Jake Richardson. Second man play to Jake Bagry, draws his man. Sam Carr oh. down the wing and he's out. Great tackle. Good tackle there. Bye. Edgerton, I think it'll be. I think it was number Edgerton, four. yeah. Just mm. waiting for him to turn around so I can see his number. He's had a good game so far. That yes, it was. Yeah. Great tackle there by Richard Edgerton. So we have a scrum packing halfway between the halfway line, the 22 metre line, be buckled and feed. Maybe feeds through. Passes the ball to Ville for his first run of the set. Strong run there from Ville. Doesn't go down. Pass out to Big Angus. He's back on. He's had his rest. He's ready to roll again. Good run by Angus. Passing it out to Ricky Moxham. Another big run by Ricky. A lot happening for him tonight. Have James Edgerson doing the dummy half duties at the present point of time. Harry Gray took one for himself. Up on about the 20 metre line at the moment. If my eyes don't lie to me. Into Menix, passing it through. Last here. Oh, great. Oh, we've got a penalty. Oh, got a penalty. Taking out of the kicker, I believe it was. Must have been taken out. I wasn't watching that. I was watching James Moller taking the ball. <laughs> Which you, did a good job of as well. <laughs> but no, yeah, I but think... Referee Sean Dillon was right onto that. So, um, Barky, yeah. they're Hansen. taking the tap. Well, quick tap and a run. And they're only about 10 metres. No, under the 10 metre line. Tommy Lyons has his first run. I think it's Tommy anyway. Or Don Missfield. Passes it through to Zach Bettines. And all spread out to the right hand side here, Buck Alden. Comes out to we got there Mick goes Hansen back inside. Having a run. Good, good run by Mick. Looks like they're looking out to the right. Into long pass out. Into Harry, Harry Gray. Gray. Through to Mannix Little and puts chip a kick through. in. There's two Buck Alden players going oh. for it. The linesman says it's gone dead, so it'll be out to the 22 for a 20 for a tap. Tap. Thought there was a hand on that somewhere in there, but you yeah, see it better than me. Didn't get the placement yeah. downward pressure on it, I think, Trent. Good kick by Menix, though. Yeah, good kick. He had um, no one back there. There's the, the first play very well. 
Zetine to change player and Alex Campbell's came on for the Black or Magpies, taking that hit up. Defence has been solid from both teams tonight. Jake Richardson, outside ball of Jake Bagri, he's covered there by Harry Gray. Luke Smith came on as interchange. Mitchell Hoff takes it up and oh, driven into the tackle. turf there. Good tackle that's there. That's a big tackle. Okay, they keep coming back down this blind side. The ball goes up again. Oh, Great hands by Menix. Menix oh. taking the ball. We've got a penalty, I believe. Penalty, I think the black hole uh, kicker must have been taken out this time. All right. Okay, so... We're just celebrating a really good take by, by Mannix then, but unfortunately yeah. would have hit on the kicker. Definitely consistent though. Yeah, well that's all we ask mm. for from a referee, to be consistent both sides, so both teams have a fair go. Alex Joyce takes the ball, he heads towards the post. Tackled there by Barkle in defence. Doyle. Dummies. He's met this time in the fence. Good hit by Angus. Back to blind. Dummy runner. James Moller comes into the line. Takes a tackle. Good read. Jake Richardson goes by to Harry dummy Gray. half. Goes to Sam Curran. <laughs> Sam Curran's dived over in the corner. Try scored in on the wing there. Barkey tried to do all they could, but unfortunately just could not get him out. That was um, Jake Richardson raced into dummy half and just called his winger to come forward and dive for the corner. Strong. Um, Trent and I got an excellent view of we that. Certainly did. Up here. <laughs> didn't need didn't need the TV for that one. No, and um, Sterling George will have to have his boots on to kick this one. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Can he do the sideline conversion that we were talking about? We were talking about. So um, <laughs> anyway, he's ha having a go. Mm. Brings the score to 16-6 with 13 minutes remaining. A kick to come, obviously. It's a pretty big effort for Sterling to kick this one, I think. But he's been doing all right. We have a great crowd here tonight. Certainly Trent, do. Um, if you look down along the grandstand, in the grandstand, along the fence. Mm. Sterling comes in and kicks this one, but it's waved away waved by away. the linesman. So it's it's a great mix, a mixture crowd. There's, there's as many Black Hall supporters, I think, here as there are Barky ones. By the yeah, things. well, um, we had a good cluster day, uh, junior cluster day, Central West cluster oh, yeah. day over here today. So um, from all the towns in the Central West came here and played junior football from midday onwards. Yeah. So it's been a big big afternoon of football <coughs> here in Bark Alden. And, and you know, the end of the day is this fantastic matchup between yeah, the, the Magpies match. and the Sango winners. So, kick off again, goes deep. Manix got looks kicked that way. Safe hands. Logan Hoff runs it back in to number 17, defender for Barcord and James Edgerton. James Edgerton. Yeah. Barky's just paying the price at the moment for giving up the ball close to the line. That's third tackle. Oh, good hit. Good tackle. Good tackle, there. that one. James, James Edgerton. Edgerton again mm. in the blue headgear. Okay, Gobes to Jake Richardson. He puts boot to ball again. It finds open ground. It's, oh, wicked bounce. And um, wicked bounce for the number one there. Be play the ball for Buckle. They're trying for 40-20, were they? 
Oh, I think they no, he was well within halfway line. Uh, I think, think they were more worried about whether they touched it. Oh, uh, that's, that's a good run by Richard Edgerton again. Him. He run again. Oh, it's knocked out. James he dives back onto it. It's six ball, six, six ball. ball. James Edgerton, big run again. And that's a. Ernie Taylor is on, running, scooting from dummy half. Oh, well, we've got. Well, we've got stop play, play stop. R Richard Edgerton. He took the ruck before. Mm. Hasn't got up yet. Down. James Edgerton just. Um, went off for Tommy Lines, and they're just still seeing how rich it is. Bit of water, and he's ready to roll again. Barky ball. Barky's playing the ball. Through to C with, a, with a, his hit up. Tommy Lines. Passes it through. We have, oh, that's, who's that We're down there? Number 11, that is Zach Bettines. Scooting out Mick Hansen from the, from the ruck. Tommy Lyons goes, kicks it through. No chases, unfortunately. James Muller's on a run back. He's made good ground there, I think. After a quick yeah, play of the ball, Sam Curran takes a run. That's a good run too. He's busted one, busted two. Full back to Betty. Takes him on. He's caught from behind by oh, Ziggy. Is that Ziggy? On? That is Ziggy, yeah. Ziggy on. Caught so. from behind by yeah. Ziggy and um, just overdone it a bit in the tackle, holding on, I think. So Blackall's on a roll now. First, first, first run for Ziggy. Well, first bit of play for Ziggy tonight. Tonight, yeah. Must have started off Coming on the off bench. The bench. Luke Smith taps, goes to Alex Choice, takes him on in the middle. Luke Smith goes from dummy half. Ernie up there with the tackle. Might have tried to offload there and ball touched the bark all and player as a knock on. You could hear from the Barky boys, they knew it was a, a, a lost ball there. It took yeah. a while for the ref to be convinced, but they knew yeah. it was a lost ball. I think he consoled his uh, linesman his there. linesman, yeah. So we'll have a Barky scrum. Harry Gray will be feeding. Oh. Mick Hansen with the first run. Little Decky Heyman's on for Blackall, only a little 18 year old boy. <laughs> Oh, over Ville. the top he goes. Two tackles Big in a row. Big powerful run for Ville. Goes through Tommy Lyons. Angus Stewart Angus with the Stewart. run. Well, he goes through. Takes a cup. Takes about three to put him down. Down. Play the ball. Mannix is in dummy. Scoots himself. Saw something interesting. Tommy Lyons looks. Out to Harry Gray who puts the kick up. James Mollers. Oops. Pretty safe. Safe as Comes straight in. No big pardons there. You went straight into the player. He certainly did. And he's a little decky, as I said. <laughs> Played a few games this season? Yeah, he's had a couple mm. of games off the bench. Jake Baggery has a run from dummy half. Alex Choice cuts back in. Beats the first marker, loss, it loses the ball in the uh, tackle. Picked Harry's up by Harry it. Gray. He tries to get through, takes a couple to put him down. So it's change over here. Tommy Lyons fires it out. Big C has he, having his first run. Runs over someone. Tommy with the dummy duties into Ricky Moxham. Always looks dangerous. Big, well, no, skipped Angus. And now I've got, oh, I think that was Mick Hansen Mick got Hansen collected high there. High there by yes, he did. Hall, I think. 
I'm just waiting to see what the referee decides here. Having a chat to both teams. Well, called out the captain. Called it. Mm. On report, on report, on report for a high tackle. Mm. Penalty, penalty to Barky. Mm. No ten in the bins and out here, is there? Oh, if it's serious <laughs> enough, I think yeah. referee Dylan won't be afraid to give ten. Oh, great oh, run Angus, by Angus, Angus offloads great offload it too. He's a pretty handy ball carrier, that Stewart, hey, didn't he? Yeah, he has. He's just every <coughs> game he gets they better and better. Come to the right, Harry, Harry looks out there. And uh, wrapped Ooh, up by Bagri. I think that was Jack Walton. Lost the ball, unfortunately. Lost the ball in the tackle. Big Jack Walton. Just a few little mistakes creeping into both mm. sides. Lost drop ball. Coaches wouldn't be happy with that because it's just given possession to the other side. Yeah, I think pressure's a lot of effort's been, been put into building pressure and then yeah, a mistake generally. Mm. Release the releases that so they're all trying their best it is if six minutes to go in the first half so it'd be a bit out on their legs at the moment I would think I think possession's been about equal oh, there's there. a good run by Will Burney he's been very quiet tonight I haven't mentioned his name yeah, yeah that's the first time and I've heard it Logan too Hoff. Takes a ruck up. Oh, there's a gr little grubbly kick. I don't know whether it's meant to be a good kick or a bad kick. Knock on when Ricky jumped on it. She's not happy with it. He's not happy, but... Mm. Um, Referee Dylan's made up his decision. Uh, there's not much sense talking about it. <laughs> Referees have ever undone their decision before. I haven't no. seen it done that, by the way. In any sport. We, we haven't got the bunker here to call no, on. No, we don't. Uh, we could always be the bunker, I guess. Come down the blind to Jake Bagri on Young Edgerton, and he oh, great does tackle. a good job on him. Tackles him low around the edge. Solid effort by Richard Edgerton out of centres tonight. Cody Trose is on for Blackall Interchange. Mitchie Hoff comes through, he's got the fullback to beat and he's heading for the post. A bit a of a step there and he got run. to him. Very good run. And that a bit of a staggered defensive line by yeah. Barkley as well. So. Yeah, they weren't in uniform, Buck Alden here. No. If we have a look at the replay, Trent, we got the benefit of it. No. Tackle there, they come to blind to Jake Richardson. He's looking to see where the gaps are. Mitchie off runs a line straight between straight the two between. players and then changes Changes direction angle. and puts a, puts the full back off his feet a little bit and That's that tells not, the story. Not what Bark Alden would be looking for with three minutes out from um, no. half time. I think they would have liked to go on the half time being at 16-6. Mm. Um, and you would we'll see our um, the Black Hole kicker goes, but he's been showing some good stuff tonight. So, 20 to 6 with three minutes to go. Kick to come. Would you agree with me, Trent? It's just been them mistakes that have got yeah. either side on the yeah. on the front foot. I think, like, you looked at Barky's try. That was off a Black Hole mistake. And all the Black Hole tries have been off either mistakes, drop ball, or yeah. just penalties. So, yeah. They're really paying the price for making those mistakes. Kick successful. It brings us to 22-6 with three minutes to go in the first half. I think the theme of the chats for both teams at half time with their coaches will just be limiting those mistakes and you know, being safe with the ball. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think the Bark Alden coach will be happy to get his players in there and rally them up again. Reset. Reset to mm. come out and play the second half. They go for the short kickoff, and Menace has got the He's ball, got I think. It. Well done. It's, it's a, seems to be a pretty good trend in the NRL at the moment to do short kickoffs. So and dropouts and too. dropouts. I don't so. know why, but yeah. then dropouts. So, so obviously, Bark, it's made its way to the Central West. <laughs> Bark orden has got the ball. Tommy Lyons in it. Dummy passes out to Ricky Moxham through the hands to Harry Gray. Bounces off one tackle. Oh, gets a good oh, ball away. Great ball to Richard Edgerton, and he's tackled down oh, there by Moller. He looks so close. Play the ball, Ziggy. Ziggy's dangerous. He's got it. He's got it. He's Tackled. They can't oh. be too far out. Got to be cut. It's a penalty, penalty. for laying in the tackle, I think. He takes a quick quick tap. tap by Tommy Lyons. Held up. Held up. Held up. Or another, yeah, held up, going out. They bring it out to the 10 metre line for the play the ball. This is Buck Alden's got a little bit of little opportunity here to get a they try. Really, they really need to go in before half time, time. I think. Great first great run there by Wes Balderson, I think it is. Yes, come it down is. the blind to Steps Harry Gray. Inside, gives a flick pass out the back. Oh. There's been Richie. two great passes down this. They're calling for it wide, Buck Alden. They have runners oh. out there. Richard Edgerton gets it to Tommy. Tommy it to Jack Walton. Nearly gets there. They must be close. They must be close. I think they might be there. Referee. Are we dividing it? Yes, we are. Yes. Referee. That's a great way to end the first half. Ah, a try to Barky. Very happy with that. I'm so trying to see who actually scored. Bit of fighting there um, by... Mick Hansen passes it out to Jack, who goes down. And then we've got Tom, um, Tommy Lyons, I believe, got that one. Dived in, did he? Yeah. Looks like well, he had the ball, so I would say it would be a Tommy Lyons try. A kick to come. <laughs> right on the hooter. So. Right on half time. Can you change the score for us when they score? Ah, uh, yeah, so sure. Easy. You just got the buttons, okay. home conversions, Barky. Yep. Away is cool. Black Can do. So I've got home try. Yep. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. And I believe that's a home conversion. So. Try was converted. Half time, we have the Blackhall Magpies on 22. Barky Sango winners on 12. So, much needed try, 10 to half. A very, Barky. very handy try for Barkhall and going mm. in to, right on the edge of half time. Definitely. Blackhall coach will be very disappointed about that. But anyway, Barkhall got down there from that short kickoff. They did. And six plays later, they've gone over down in the, down the far end of the field and both sides of. Um, Regroup now with their coaches, obviously giving them instructions on um, what he wants done in the second half. Yeah, I think, um, like we said, I think mistakes are costing both teams at mm. the moment. But Blackall will be a little bit happier going into the sheds, being ten points up. But you know, I don't know if ten points up is going to win the game. No, I don't think it will. The way they're going, I think there's more points to be scored in the second half, and. Um, Whoever scores the most will win. Tail of the tail of the game, isn't it? Yeah, Trent. tail of the game. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, so, folks, yeah. we might just leave you now for a little break, and we'll mm. be back with the second half in a few mm. minutes. Thank you very much. See you, everybody. Thank
Do it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, just getting ready for the second half of the Blackhall Magpies and the Blackhall and Sango winners. Teams, both teams just had their address by the coaches. We're looking forward to the second half, aren't we? Good second half, 40 minutes of good football coming up. Uh, referee Sean Dillon and the linesman are doing a great job here today. Mm. Thank you very much, fellas. Thank you, all the coaching staff. Thank you, all the crowd, for showing up for a good game of football. We've got a 22 to 12 scoreline. Uh, Not much in it. Not a great deal in it. Oh. Barky to kick off. It comes high and deep down. Oh. Crystal takes the ball. Hands on to Cody Trose. Yeah, yeah. Do I just press buttons? Beautiful. Yep, I'm good with that. Second hit up by the Magpies. Alex Choice. Cody Trose goes for a second hit up. First action of the night, I think, for for number 19. Yeah, he came on just before half time. Oh. Their um, early kick downfield from dummy half. Oh, safe Taken. hands by Mannix Hunt. Drifts across field. Chases are down there. Good tackle by Mannix. Even though Ezekiel Thompson's on the field, Mannix still seems to be in that fullback position. Trying to see who it Back is. Back from dummy half. Coming out to Ernie Taylor with a big run. Ernie's still on. Passes it through to C. Another big run by C. He's, he's been involved all game. Certainly has. Goes back and Ziggy puts the ball. Whoa, it's not yes. out. Yeah. <laughs> that one looks like it's going to go out on the floor as well. <laughs> the dropped in, dropped in, and um, be a magpie play the ball. Boots are cut going well off their feet at the moment. Okay, Ethan Willis has a hit up. Metting a good tackle there, one on one tackle. Plays the ball. Sack the teens. Goes on to Cody Trose. Someone went low and missed him. Taken down there by two Barky defenders. Kelly off to dummy half. Goes to the open side. Alex Choice takes a run up the middle. <laughs> Only way he knows how to go, <laughs> up the middle. Going to the open side again, Jake Richardson puts the kick downfield. Menace is coming for it. He, I think he's covered it up. That was smart there. Menix jumped on that loose ball. Blackhall chases were coming through. A little scoot, scoot there from dummy half. From Richard Edgerton, I a think. Good scoot too. Oh, gets pulled down from behind. Great scoot good, though. Good run. Menix with another run. Up the oh, middle, he, he gets got through, through. too. So you can back Finally up. run into James Moller. Great start to the set for the Bark Barky Sango winners. Okay, move it wide. Ricky Moxham. Ricky Runs into big Cody Trace. Trying to get the ball free. Goes again. Mickey Hanson's got the ball. He dummies. Goes back inside. Gives it oh, to someone, someone in the middle. Someone in the middle. Who is uh, Zach, Zach Walton. Oh, Jack Walton. Yeah. Jack Walton. Yep. Comes open. Harry Gray. Harry Gray tries to get the arm free. free. Oh, that's the last. It'll be a changeover. Not a bad, not a bad position for a changeover, I think. Yeah, no. So John Hoff goes for a run from dummy half. Okay, James Muller goes in to dummy half. He has a scoot. The markers. Marcus, get him. Plays the ball. Big Cody Trace tries to ruck it out, gets past the first one. Spins in the tackle, taken down low, eventually comes down. Bit of a dynamo too, isn't he? With number five, Sam Curran in having a run. Ezekiel Thompson out there on the wing gets gets him down. Okay, Jake Richardson gets it. He's been been held there, fifth and last now. Ball goes back to Kelly Hoff. He puts the ball high. It's a high kick. 
coming in. Oh, oh well taken, great man. take by Ville there. A little bit of a high tackle by the looks of things. The referee's just talking with... Two Barky players nearly collided taking that ball. But anyway, the wash-up is a be a time off. Time off, just checking Ville. Ville copped a bit of a one around the head just then. Penalty to the Sango Enners. Referee's just having a chat with the linesman to see if anything else is happening. He's up. up. Is he heading off? No, nope. he's going back to the line. Penalty, penalty called. Menix takes the kick. Uh, Barky back on attack again. Ricky. Uh, penalty, oh. penalty. The Magpies are offside from the kick, from the tap. This is giving Bark Alden some very good possession. Yeah, they got some good field position now. A uh, bit too eager to get off the line. Yeah. And that the ball goes up, but it's out. Okay, we're right on the right on the 10 metre line. Now that is. First run by Barkey, passes out to Canson to Mick, who goes under. Number 14 is Casey Hansen. Up to Harry. Mick Hansen again. Oh, nearly got through. A little dummy half run there by yeah. Jack White, I think. Mick Hansen goes to dummy half. <coughs> oh, a wobbly ball is taken by Ricky. Ricky. Moxham out there. Fifth and last. Mick Hansen's going to go himself. He's, oh, he's held, held up. up. Oh, taken a few, but he's held up. Held up there. <laughs> oh, black hole ball. Play, play the ball on the 10 metre line. Sam Curran rucks it out. Kelly Hoff goes to dummy half. Comes to the blind side, Andrew. Oh, he's dropped the ball. It's a changeover. Barkey has the ball. Ernie Taylor picked up the scratch up just the then. Bad mistake from the Magpies there. Out to find out who that player is who takes that run. I think that is. Tommy L Oh, oh and another no. dropped the ball from the That's Don Missfield, that was. And a drop the ball by C. Fortunately, C's been playing a really good game tonight. So that's two drop balls by two two forwards. So there's some interchange going on here. Logan Hoff's coming on. Bit of pressure relieving for Blackall then. Oh yeah, they they were on the Ball, Mark Alden there, looking very dominant. Scrum fed. Jake Bagri takes the ball from dummy from the scrum base, held there by Harry Gray. <laughs> Back to the mark, bit of struggle in there. Logan off straight into the action, takes a settler. <laughs> Alex Choice. Got a bit of a step there and beat the footwork too. Fella. Built close to the ground, he's hard to bring down. Chris Dorr sees a gap, goes for it, but it closes and it's tackled. Jack Walton, I think it was. Yeah. Goes to Jake Richardson, he puts the ball high. End over end. Menace lets it bounce at the end, it bouncing, black of the ball. Ball's on the ground. I think we're going to knock on, knock on Blackall. Oof. It's a bit nerve-wracking for any Barcaldon supporter out there. 
Yeah, especially when it bounced. Oh. And that's a, um, I think he just lost it in the air a little bit, but we're having a scrum. I feel for fullbacks when those when those balls go up in the air. Like it'd be a hard job to be able to catch them. It's a lonely job back there. Too. Yeah, it would be. I want no one to help you. The ball's being fed. A bit of mucking around happening in the scrum. That's probably one thing that they didn't practice at training, trying to scrum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ball comes out. Barky delivers it. Ville has that first oh, run. He gets run. through. And he's run oh, back dri in. Driven back. I think that is Dom with the ball. Passes out to oh, Ricky, I think. Ricky was rare. Ricky mocks him. We have a... Penalty. Penalty for a lifting tackle. Lifting tackle. Mm. That was a bit of a relieving penalty, I think, for Mark Holden. Yeah, they find touch about the halfway line. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Big first run. Second dummy half By run. Ernie, Ernie Taylor has a scoot at dummy half. Dom delivers it. But Angus picks up the scraps. Don't know if the ball was intended for him, but it got no. there anyway. Oh. Play on. Referee Play on. Dylan has played on. Played advantage. Number 12 for Blackhall picked it up. Another another drop ball there, unfortunately. Jake Bagri has a run from dummy half. And over there is some solid defence. Jake's in at dummy half. Alex Choice up the middle. Ooh, big one. No big pardons out there, Trent. No, only Taylor tried. He put his body on the line. Runs it up, tackled there. Score still 22-12. John Hoff gives it out to Will Burney. Will Burney puts Sterling, Georgia A. Fullback's coming across. Is he over? Oh, they're cheering like he is. Yeah, try has been awarded. awarded. Nice backline movement there. Let's have a look at the replay. Oh, let's not have a look at the replay. <laughs> try. That's right. Try has been awarded. I believe it was the winger, wasn't it? Sterling George, yeah. I think. He can kick and score tries. Yeah, he probably... How many steps? While Sterling George is setting up for this kick, we've been informed we've got about 250 viewers live streaming tonight from the Bark Alden Showgrounds, a match between the Bark Alden Sanguinas and the Black Alden Magpies. The winner will play Longridge Ilfacombe next weekend in the grand final at Central West Rugby League comp. Mm, in Longridge too, so. In Longridge. Sterling, I think, is just setting himself up for the conversion. Another difficult one for Sterling, I think. I don't think he had the opportunity to run around under the post. <laughs> no, to definitely to not. To improve the position for himself. Definitely not. Definitely not. But anyway, we'll see how he goes. Didn't have the legs waved away. Scores 26 12 to the Black or Magpies. With 26 minutes left on the clock. 
plenty of time left. Oh, heaps of time. Heaps of time. A lot of football still to be played. Mm. <coughs> See if they try another short kick off. Not going long this time. They do. They let it bounce. Will Burney picks it up. Blackhall centre. Takes a run up. John Hoff to dummy half. Logan Hoff will take it Ooh. straight up. He juggled that a bit. Bobbled it. <laughs> Kelly Hoff to dummy half, Alex Campbell who rucks it up, he jumps the first tackle but he's <laughs> caught there and taken down. He's missed his calling. Go to Jake Richardson, he gives the inside ball to Mitchell Hoff. Oh. But he ran behind a player yeah. there, so... Bit of a shepherd penalty, I think. is that what they still yeah. call it? Yeah, mm. it'd be a shepherd penalty. Mm. Referee Sean Dillon's right onto it and Buck Alden will have an opportunity to attack in their own half. Currently, the score is 26-12 to the Magpies. Okay, they've found touch. Let's see what... Quick, oh, quick Richard tap. Edgerton with the quick tap. Great first run by Richard. Yeah, great speed. Second run from Dummy Half. half. Well, who have we got in at Dummy Half at the moment? I think that's Tommy Lyons there. Going for the line. Yeah, very close. Which way are we going now? Mick Hansen. Have a switch. To Harry Gray. Harry Gray is going for oh, the he's line. he's going himself. What a run by Harry Gray. Got around Jake Richardson and went straight for the line. That man could do everything. A good switch of play there from Mick Hansen. Changed the attack. Mm, did. He, he made that decision to go back out onto the right side instead of going through hands to the left. He, he, great dummy there by Harry and mm. just gives yeah, him the had, space he needs to finish up. Had the speed to get around the mm. opposing the defender. No score is... 26-16 to Barkey, kick to come. There's 24 minutes left on the clock for this half. I think we've got a few score, uh, a few time issues with the live stream. We apologise for that. I'm not that technically minded to fix it, sorry. Setting up for the kick. I think Ezekiel looks like he's kicking. Motions. Oh, waved away. I think waved it went away. to the left of the of left of the post. They were right of the post for us. So that score twenty six to sixteen to Blackall. Twenty three minutes left on the clock. So only ten points, which isn't much in this game no. of football. No, it's not. Possession, Trent, I think it'll be the big thing in the next. Definitely. Well, oh, the ball bounce, a wobbly bounce, but finally picked up by Bark Alden down there. And he comes around the outside, it's Ziggy, Ooh. is it? I think that is. lines up James Moller, James that Moller is. takes him around the leg. Ezekiel Thompson with a great first oh, D, run. And a quick run, this will be Edgerton, Edgerton backing it up, I'd say. Broken line, that's yeah. he loves, he loves running with the broken lines. Barky's right on the Ricky attack Moxon. now. Ricky Moxon follows it up with a good hit up. Goes through. We have Angus with that ball. I think, it, yeah, Angus, beautiful. I could have followed down. Oh, no, this is Angus, sorry. Angus, Angus makes it. Hands there. Through the hands. Well done to Zach Bettines. Back to back tries to Sango Ennis. Time's right called off, just got a bit of an issue on the field at the moment. Let's watch our, our live instant replay. Great run by Angus Stewart. And then he goes for the offload. 
out to there and then Zach Bettines finishes up after a beautiful pass from the his inside player. Yeah, nothing in it, I don't think, but mm. the referee's having a yarn to his linesman. Yeah. I think it was just good good contact. Good contact. Yeah. He got the ball away to his winger. Mm. He went over in the in the corner. That winger it's was two tries in quick succession, yeah. Kick to come from the sideline. We're just going to see how our player is who's down. I'm not too get, sure who it is. Oh, Jack Walton. So it's Jack Walton. Get a bit of attention from the medical crew at the moment. Great pass by Jack Walton to... Yeah, Glory's do do man. And yeah, and set up, set up um, Zach Bettines for that try. Yeah. Right. Getting ready to set the kick up. Um, Jack Walton, much needed rest, I think, after the injury, and um, on comes Morgan Stanfield. So it was a penalty blown as well. No, on no. Re on report. On report. On okay. report to be looked at. Yep. And Ziggy Thompson's going to take this kick honey about a metre in from the sideline. Another difficult one. So, uh, yeah, test Ziggy out on this side of the field this time. What a comeback from Bark Alden, two tries in a row. Yeah, I think it shows what possession can do, doesn't it? Oh, broken play run by yeah. Ziggy and, and then Edgerton. It, yep. Yeah, definitely like, yeah, followed Richard, up. Richard Edgerton with a quick... Good. And um, just being able to get that, like that try there, just being able to get that ball free and 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 mm. pass it with with a few bodies around you is yeah, yep, is the difference. Ezekiel sets himself up, goes through the motions, boots it, oh, straight across the face, and not enough legs on it. Unlucky that um, makes the score 26 to 20 to the Black All Magpies at the moment with 21 minutes on the clock. So we're halfway through the second half. Yeah. So we're nothing in this game. Our live stream viewers have gone up to 300 viewers. So Ooh. obviously the word's out there that we've got an exciting <laughs> game on. Well, they might be tuning in to hear our, our commentary. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure, Trent. <laughs> Barky with the ball. Ernie Taylor goes for a score. I think it's Ernie anyway, somebody. And I think that is actually one of the Baldessons. Goes for a scoop. Out two. Great run there. Tommy Lines passes it. Angus Stewart with the run. Oh, always has his hand free. hands free. Great run by Angus. Going back. Up to Harry Gray, who puts the boot into it. Oh, bouncing. Oh, great kick. James Moller takes oh. it. And he's there, met by number two. Number from two, a bit of a head clash he there as well, I there. think. Sterling George takes a ruck and Yeah, definitely head clash there. Mm. Oh, he's very wobbly. Very wobbly. Number two's down, so we'll wait for medical assistance to come. Mm. Put their bodies on the line then, Trent. Don't they? Like that both, was um, both fullback and and winger number two mm. for Bark Alden. You can probably see you can see the head glass from up here. It was um, mm. not good. Not good. We'll just have a little bit of assessment. I would say that he will be taking no part in the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah. While well, we've got a break in play, Kelly Hoff has been subbed off by Luke Smith. He's come on. Another fantastic matchup in Central Rest Rugby League tonight. Um, this doesn't look good, really. The trainer's on the phone. I say she might be calling medical attention. I would think. Yep, I would say so too. I think so this is a bit of a concern. 
we um, we could be here for a little while with this breaky stoppage in play. Both teams will have a time to catch their breath and get the wind back in their lungs. Mm. And we'll have an exciting second half for the second half to... 20 odd minutes to go. go. Mm. I think there's a lot of concern at the moment by the looks of it for this young man for the Barky team. Head clashes are never good. Yeah, I was very wobbly, so obviously he was um, knocked out. Mm. So they'll take precautionary, be precautionary action. Meanwhile, both sides have gathered in a huddle and um, having a talk amongst themselves. Probably a good time for both teams just to reset and get themselves ready for that last 20 minutes of this half. Put it all say, out there. Okay, so this is a um, winner goes on to next week and the loser has a week off for the rest of the year. So yeah. um, this is what the End boys the out there play for. Mm. Mad Monday comes early. Tommy down the other gate. You want me to ask that car to move? I don't know. Oh, no, they're moving. Yep, they're moving. Yeah, just got a bit of a stoppage, but I think um, yeah, Blackwell team looks like they're heading back to their bench. <laughs> The biggest thing with stoppages like these, the players cool down. Yeah, that, that's... Both teams, I think they're... They're concerned about the player, they're just giving them some space, which is great. Not something you want to see happen in a match like this, I don't think. No, not not mm. good at all. And um, young Corey, Corey to Balderson, Balderson, only a young player in the game too, I'd say. So yeah, not not nice at all when you have head clashes of any sort. Uh, everyone's everyone's around him though. Everyone's looking after him. So. The crowd are really enjoying this matchup tonight. Yeah, they've gone a bit quiet with the break in play, obviously. Mm. Um, concerned about the welfare of this young fella. Mm. Um, and that. But um, the players are in a huddle working out their strategies for the next 20 minutes of play. And um, a young, um, young Corey Balderson has done some fantastic things defensively and, and attack tonight as well, so it'll be a big loss for the rest of the game for the Sango Ennis. Yeah, yeah. Um, they'll have to find themselves a winger to sub on out there yeah. wide. I'm sure they'll have someone. So it could possibly um, be Kyle, you know, young Kyle Marshall might come out there on the wing. He's only another young fella. Yeah, the young fella, yeah, so he's, um, yeah, I think, oh, I'm not trying, not, not even know, I don't know the family, I taught, I taught the family a fair while ago in Rocky, so. Oh, right. And I do know the, um, Kyle and his family, so he might get his opportunity for the rest of the game, or the coach might go another way. Yeah. Yep. This live stream has everything there. Um, what is the double? 
Rules 1 and 4. Yeah. I think it's been claimed already. Yeah. Mm. yeah. No. <laughs> Get rid of the extra D and hold too. <laughs> Sweet my teacher out on there, sorry. No, I didn't even see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the wrong D, you got rid of the wrong one. <laughs> Are we muted as well?
No, we're not back on. Yes. <laughs> right, everyone, we are back on. Thank you for waiting. Uh, the young man from Bark Hall and has just um, been put in the ambulance and is heading off now. We wish um, Corey and his family all the best and hope that everything is is okay. Yeah, we've had a big breakage in play here, Trent, so um, I hope all players have warmed themselves back up again for this physical game of rugby league. Um, a few running, doing a few laps while we we're waiting here, but we'll yeah, see how we go. Mentally, I just don't, it'll be interesting to see how both sides react to this and mm. um, how, how they um, take up the challenge of the next 20 minutes. We're yeah. just on 20 minutes left in this game, mm. viewers. Uh, there's clapping, clapping off at the moment. All right, we have Black Hall, but resuming with Black Hall Vol. I think we're up to, might be tackled too. Yeah, I don't know. Not anyway, sure. referee Dylan will have that. <laughs> Alex Joyce takes a run off John Hoff up the middle. Chris Doyle. Oh, that's nice. been a drop ball. Drop ball. Drop ball. We didn't, Blackwell didn't want that. So, Early um, drop ball too. That's what I was talking about with that big breakage in play. Fellas mm. have got to get back in the groove of things. So it'll be a Barky feed on the 22 metre line. Great opportunity for Barky to um, score again. Yeah, they uh, were on a roll when that mm. um, little incident happened with the winger. So. Here we go. Out to Hanson, oh. Stanfield, that is. They come the blind again, Mick Hanson. Mick Hanson probing away, trying to find something. He's lost the ball. Lost the ball in the tackle there, so. Oh. That'll double, be a double mistakes there. This happens to both sides. Mm. This is what I was talking about, Trent, with yeah. that big delay in play. It, might take a couple of a set of six or better for both sides to get the feel of playing the foot, playing the game again. Yeah, it was a very long time, wasn't it? But so the ball's out. Yeah. Goes to Will Burney off the scrum. Great defence by three in the tackle there by Barkey. Alex Choice goes straight up the yeah. middle again. Change of direction. Logan Hoff. Oof. Tackle there by Angus Stewart. Stewart came in. Just working away. Uh, Jake Richardson puts kicked the ball. He's found open space down there in the south east corner. Bounce avoids yeah, Mannix. Bounces as well for Mannix. He's picked it up. Mm. Yeah, big got monstered there by a couple of players, but bounce back up again. Scoot from dummy half there. By the, I think that's Darcy Volk, the new player who's on. To Ricky Moxham. Great crowd, run out of out of trouble there. Crowd's very vocal after the break in, they in certainly the are. play. Both sides are urging their big players Angus on a, with the offload. A big offload. They're going for the ball. Oh, Blackhall got possession. John Hoff dived on the ball. Good play, John. Scoot from dummy half from Sterling. The, the Angus Stewart offload has worked at 90% of the time, so. Yeah, so he will probably keep trying it. Yeah. Goes to Logan off, he'll go straight up the middle. Big defensive pressure here on Barkey. Good three in the tackle there. Tackled within the 10 metre line. Luke Smith's in a dummy half. Goes to Chris Doyle, he goes to cut out oh, to Jake Richardson. Oh, was it? Oh, I think that was a drop ball drop too. Drop ball, was it too? I think. Yep, knock on. Knock on. Hmm. So it'll be a bark Alden feed to the scrum. A few errors. Plaguing the game at the moment. Yeah, both sides have started off a bit scratchy, but they're, they're warming up, they're mm. warming up. Again. <laughs> we'll never get 
in the last 10 minutes is going to be the telling part of this game, I reckon. Great run there, but I think that looks like Zach Bettines. Out to Morgan Stanfield. Whoa, oh, he got through that through. one. They missed him. Someone lined him up, but and missed him. Missed him, so he was lucky there. To Ricky Moxon. Powerful run by Ricky out of his half there. Mannix in it, dummy. Oh, through the hands. And oh, Richard Edgerton's on. Edgerton, and they've got, and we've got Ziggy Ezekiel Thompson. Thompson. Oh. And he's off. No, but the referee's called oh. it back for a forward pass. <laughs> oh, my dear. And we we're getting all excited as oh, well. Oh, we were. We were getting very excited. The crowd was too. Uh, Ziggy's that fast. He probably overrun Richard a little bit. Richard's got enough pace. Himself. I'd love to see the replay. <laughs> Did probably look a little bit forward anyway from. Up here, but so we'll go back for a scrum. And that, gee, that had the crowd on the certainly on did, feet. certainly did. Barkey exploited the blind there. Will Burney takes it off the scrum and runs into Mick Hansen and well, Luke Smith takes a duck dummy half. I saw something in there. Alex Choice up the middle again. He bumps one. Oh, Hello, we're second phrase play here. Luke Smith end up ball is out to Chris Doyle. A well, couple of offloads there. Good scramble by Barkey then. What side are they going? They're going to the left. Jake Richardson. Little kick tip over the top. Oh. Great Cleaned cover up by, by Mannix. Down the far corner. Mark Alden or Richard Edgerton, I believe, is off again. Back onto his work. Through the hands. I don't think who that is. I'm not too sure, but that was a good run. Big run by Menix. Going through, probably about 30 metre line. Oops, scoot from Dummy. Or pulled down from behind. Fifth and last. Fifth and last. They're What's going, Harry got for us? Going down the blind. He kicks oh, a nice boot. Oh, bounced up perfectly it. for the fullback. Oh, he flips. Flips before he gets to the fence. Young Decky Heyman takes a ruck. It's a good scoop. Both sides are resolved to quick play the ball and... Mm. Scooting out a dummy half in this later stages of the game. Luke Smith goes to Chris Doyle. On to the big fella, Cody Trace. Is that Cody? Yeah, Angus Stewart up in the tackle too. Trace. Luke Smith, Chris Doyle again. Goes himself. Met some Angus Stewart. Fifth and last. Again. He's a chip kick over the top. Players coming. Ball's on the ground still. Picked up by Buck Alden eventually. Oh, Black will still no, got it. No, it's Black will ball, sorry. Yeah. Jake Richardson. On. Dummies inside. It was a knock on, I think, then by Mannix, unfortunately. Dive from dummy half. Held up by the looks of it. Don't think he's there. Still not Looking over, no. The referee. Plays the ball. Cody throws. Oh, terrible pass out to Chris Doyle. He picks it up. Goes back to Iron. Richardson goes for the line. He's tackled. Luke Smith goes to dummy half. Clean ball to Doyle. Out to John Hoff. He puts a little grubber kick in. Going for it. Dive for the ball. Yeah. I don't know who got there first. Referee confirmed with his touch line. Knock on. Knock on. Knock on called against Blackhall. And that's how it's out to the 22 for a tap. There's a bullet dodge there by Barkley. Yeah. <laughs> Angus with the with the first run. Runs into Alex Choice and Chris Doyle. We've got Tommy Lines with a with a big run. 
Oh, out to Morgan Stanfield. The crowd's really getting involved in they here. Certainly urging are. their players on out in the field. Pass from Dummy to Ricky Moxham. Uh, forward pass. Forward there. pass. The crowd seen it before the referee, I think. Forward pass. Unfortunately. They will have a scrum with a black or feed. Six points of difference, which is mm. a converted try, which could not much could uh, level the scores if Barkle and San Gwenas get do get across. Ten minutes left too, so we're Ten coming into that left. last part of the game where Blackhall want to score or try to, to sew it up, I think, but Barkey are Comes working out, hard. Goes to Logan Hoff, he takes on the V. Met there. Jake Richardson goes to dummy half. Alex Choice up the middle all night. Kelly Hoff has just came on, replacing Luke Smith. Interchange very important this time of the game. Big Cody Trace takes a run. He takes two defenders <laughs> with him before they bring him down. Got Kelly Hoff back on. Goes to John Hoff. He dummies, goes through, but tackled low there. Lined out to the left. Cody has another run. Heads towards the post. Bumps one off. He comes back at him and puts him down. Numbers in the tackle by Barkey. Fifth and last tackle. Goes to Chris Doyle. Off to Jake Richardson. Jake's deciding what to do. He offload the ball. Ball's still live. It's the last tackle. Ball's loose everywhere. <laughs> I think the referee will... <laughs> I don't know what's happening over. in there, but I would say it would just be something. <laughs> yep, just a change over there. Change over there with Buckhall mm. and the play the ball just off the try line. Buckhall threw a lot at him then. First run. Mark a little quick man will come into play here. I think Richard Pete. Edgerton, yeah, I think so. This is perf this is purpose built for a Ezekiel run straight yeah. up the guts, I think. Forward fours, mm. quick legs. They go down the blind again. Oh, oh he ran into a solid tackle that time by <laughs> Jake Bagri. Harry, Harry Gray, Gray just needed to let that go if he could. He did a good job. Nick Hansen's in the middle, he cut back inside, he could see his men was marked outside. James Edgerton with the with the pass, and we've got Menix with the kick. Oh, good hands by the fullback from Blackhall. James avoids one, but Smith the second time. Pass to go back and play the ball. Magpies is still getting back on side here. Gerling stood, takes a run, he throws the ball oh. out the back with <laughs> playing hot potato football here. I don't think that's called for. Oh, off plays the ball. Sam Curran takes a ruck up the middle, right in the middle of the field. <laughs> that's a bit. That, that's what they what need, straight up the middle. <laughs> Kelly Hoff's there. He goes to Chris Doyle. He goes off goes. to Cody Trace. The big fella's just settling it up the middle. John Hoff takes a run. Tackle there. Fifth tackle. Goes to James Moller. What can he do? He puts a ball high. There's oh, pressure here, here coming in. All, coming in. Ball's loose on the ground. Picked up. Play on, says referee Menix Dillon. Up. Oh, he's got through. He's bumped yeah. off one. At Great first run by Menix. James Edgerton with the dummy half duties. Passes it through to Ville. Ville's off. Tackled there. Oh, up to about the 30 metre, 40 metre line there. Found James some. Edgerton finds... Um, uh, Zach Bettines, powers on through. To Ricky Moxham. Ricky Moxham goes for a run. Another He'll be powerful for run. Offload. Hits the C. And he's tackled. He was covered. Mm. I knew that offload was coming, I think. Okay, they go to the... They go to Mick Hansen, who he kicks it. He puts the ball high. Oh, it's my find Mick. Gone high, James Moller's going for the first bounce. And he'll, oh, he's lined up by number 10 and hit hard. C with the hit. 
There's a penalty oh. here. Offside. Offside. A little bit too eager. Mm, Just too, a little too bit too eager. eager. And that, so, um, Not a bad hit by oh. um, number C from Blackhall, that, uh, from Barky there. Barky, good hit. <laughs> Lined him up. Kelly Hoff takes a tap. Cody Trace takes it forward. He gets 10 metres, bumps into Angus mm, Stewart. Angus, Stewart. Angus comes back at him again and puts <laughs> him to the ground. Still some great work up there, um, number 19 from Blackhall. Cody. And now comes Alex Choice, goes through the middle, gets out of one, twist and turns. Angus Stewart on top of him again. Chris Dawes. Puts a chip kick in. There's chases here. Bark Alden players. Oh, Bill's oh, got the ball. Well done. Bill's got the ball. Whoa. Great start. I think Passes it's... through. James Edgerton finds Harry Gray, who turns it into. I think that is Ernie back out there again. Yes, it is. Ernie. It's taken a little high, but the referee didn't see it that way. Zach Bettine scoots from dummy and drops. Oh. Oh, well, penalty for a, a, for a, for a strip. strip. Five minutes left on the clock, everybody. Mark Alden in good field position here, Trent. Very Dennis good. Puts the ball up and it will find touch. Find, find touch. touch. That's a fantastic 15 metres out. Touch. Mark Alden goes on the attack here. The crowd are up. They're ready. Zach Bettines with the first run. Great run from Zach. Bill in at dummy half. Swings it to James Edgerton, who has a run. Mick Hansen in dummy half duties. Goes through to Big Angus. Pulled oh, up through the line. Nearly good line up from Angus to the Harry Gray. Up. Harry. Trying to get the ball away, gets to it away. Again Hot to Menix. Menix settles it. James Edgerson turns it. Goes out to Richard. Yeah. Go Harry. If he goes down, yeah, he's got to go we down. have a try. We have a game on our we hands. We have now. a game. Harry Gray with his second try of the night. Took on the defence, come back on the inside and he had a fair bit of work to do there. He would look certainly like did. Two or three black oil fellas held him, but he reached out and slammed the ball down. He certainly did. I, it was that was just strength. Oh, determination. Yeah, he wanted it and he got it. Congratulations to Harry Gray. What an effort. Been fantastic all night, Harry Gray. He's played a good game. Mm. Um, so that gets us to 26-24 to Barky with a kick to come. And we have three minutes, three minutes left, on, left the clock. on the clock. Definitely going down to the wire. Both sides look fairly fatigued now. Mm. Trent standing out there. Menix. Time Menix Hunt. Being called off. Menix Hunt is standing up to the kicking duties. So Zeke Thompson mustn't be out there at the moment. No, I can't see him out there. Oh no, there, yeah, he's out there. He's just not kicking. Oh, Mannix for the duties tonight. Probably 15 metres to the left-hand side of the post. Mm. Menace has got it set up. A bit of a pressure kick, this one for Menace. Kick. Off to the right. Two points in it. Two minutes left on the clock. Here we go. I think we're in for a cliffhanger here. Mm. I don't think Blackall will go for the short kickoff. Well, no, I wouldn't. No. Go deep and try you, and... You would um, hope not. No. Yeah, de definitely. I think deep would be the option. They want as much... I they think, want Bucky in their half as much as possible. I think that chip kick a couple of plays back didn't really go in their favour either. No. So... Um, what a game we have here. Two points. Great pick up by Menix. He, was, he wasn't very happy about missing that conversion. No, he'll make up for it in his runs. 
Buck Alden will play a bit of offload and football here. They've got some fast men that can Certainly do. scoot away. James Edgerton passes it through to Ricky Moxham. Moxham Ricky takes another ball. solid run by Ricky. Put down hard too, Ricky. He was, was put then. down hard. And that time off. Time off. Ricky got put down hard. He sort of um, might have bumped his head hitting the ground and he's getting up. It's good to see. I did see the head bounce a bit. I think Barky will go to their big men with an offload yep. to their fast little fellas. I'd be trying to get it to uh, Richard Edgerton and mm. Ziggy. And Ziggy, yep. Definitely uh, out on that, on that right-hand side, left-hand side. They're the game breakers that mm. they need to get the ball to. Ricky's OK, getting up, waiting for a referee to blow time on. Time on. And Angus, Angus, Angus takes with it the run. up. James Edgerton goes to Tommy Lyons, I believe that is, with a great run. He's had a good game since he came on. Certainly has. They turn around, it's fifth and last. They're going out to the right hand side, goes to Harry Gray, he puts a chip kick in. James Muller, oh, he oh. knocks the ball on. Dives on the ball. Ball went back, apparently. Rucked out there by Sam. Mm. No, by number 10, Logan Hoff. James Moller has a run from dummy half. Oh! There's a bit of a coat hanger there. Oh, no, no need for that. Push and shove. Yeah. Referee Dylan's got control of it. He's seen it. Time's ticking away here. While they're having discussions on the field, it's a penalty to black all magpies. Mm. Kelly Hoff kicks for the sideline. Mm. It's a two-point ball, ball game here with 20 seconds left on the clock. Logan Hoff takes the ruck up forwards, met by the bark all in defence. Going down. Choice takes the ball forward as he has all night. Tackled. 30 seconds left. Goes to Chris Doyle. He goes out to number 17, Anthony Molnar. Mark Alden might get one more play of the dice. 22 goes seconds. Alex Choice. He takes a ruck up the middle. Richardson back inside to Logan Hoff. Logan Hoff going for the try line. Pulled up, caught there, held Six, up. Five. Fifth and last. Okay, so the ball. Game. Game over. What a wow, close game. Two points. Two points. Two points in it. I think Mark Alden beat Blackall in the first game of the year by two points. It yep. might have been four points. Yep. And I think the last time Blackall were here, the Bark only won by two points. So very two very even competition. And, and the game lived up to its expectation, I it think. It did, right down to the last minute. Trent, um, as we close with the thing, give us a uh, best and fairest for Bark Alden and Blackall. I think for, for Barky, I'd have to say Harry Gray. It'd have to be Harry Gray. I think he played out of his skin tonight. Um, two tries, set up a few more. Um, absolutely fantastic. And, and for, for Blackhall, I really like the number 13. Um, I'm not sure who he is. Chris Doyle. Chris, Chris Doyle. He was just in everything. And yep. taking those hard runs and, and making, and with his footwork, making a bit of metres as well. So that'd be who... My thoughts are for best and fairest. I'd um, totally agree with you with the number seven for Buck Alden, Harry Gray. Tried hard all night, yeah. exploited that blind side beautifully when he had um, Richard Edgerton and um, Ziggy Thompson outside yeah. him. Mm. Uh, looked dangerous, like you said, scored two tries yep. and set up a lot of plays. I thought a good uh, second for the Buck Alden forwards. 
was either Ricky Moxham or um, Angus Stewart. Yep. Definitely. The two big men. Mm. But in saying that, the younger fellas did a lot of work. Jack Rockman yep. and uh, Wes Balderson, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, Phil Blackall, tough one. I thought in the centre, Alex Choice plays every game. He plays thing. But tonight, um, I'm going to give it to Logan Hoff. To yep. Took the ball up. I seem to be mentioning his name all the time. Mm. And for the backs, for Blackall, I think... Um, Chris Doyle, yeah. probably, and that's so. Um, but all in all, the fellas are just shaking hands now at the end of play, and uh, we've had over 300, about 300 viewers around mm. the state, so excellent. an excellent job. Thank you very much, Aaron, and your team here for your technology and your expertise, mm. and uh, thanks, Trent, nice. for your Thank you. company tonight. Pleasure. Been good. It's good fun. Been good, good fun. Been mm. good. We've... Um, had fun together. Yep. Thank Excellent. you very much, ladies and gentlemen. The mm. final score, 26 points to 24 in favour of the Blackhall Magpies. Good night. Yep.